That's a Charizard and a Charizard and another Charizard. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube with another mail day. A lot of great stuff. And let's just get right into it here. Let's not waste any time. The first package coming from Michelle in Indiana. And how about this? This is really cool. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Look at this hat. I mean, this is so freaking cool. And you can see Shonen Jumps on it. I mean, this is the official Yu-Gi-Oh! GX hat. And uh, that right there is so, so cool. Crazy cool. Crazy cool. Coming up next, we have uh, Dylan from Liberty Lake. Let's see. Dylan. And this is a Pokemon card. And my goodness. Look at the sparkle on that. They call that one the uh, Sparkle Chrome. It's an insert. I think it's one in six packs. These tops chrome cards, and uh, it was described as mint, but unfortunately, no top lo or no soft sleeve, and I'm not too sure about it. Wouldn't say it's mint, but it might be near mint. I think. Look at how much it sparkles! My goodness! Wow, that sparkles! Quite crazy, right there. Quite crazy. Okay, pretty cool. I like that. Got a lot of stuff here uh, coming up. We're gonna go to Jacob in Oregon. Jacob, let's see what we get. Let's see what this one is. All right, lots of bubble wrap. Let's use the uh, the fancy dancy. Fancy dancy. First time I ever used that word. Uh, box cutter and see what this is. And my goodness. Oh my. Okay, so this is going to be very expensive card here. And it is a Charizard EX. And this is a fire red leaf green. And let's see what we got here. This is supposedly mint perfect flawless condition and let's see if that is indeed the case here so uh let's see let's see what we get just want to be careful this is not a cheap card i did not pay pennies for this bad boy okay a little debris that i knocked off okay let's see if there's scratching uh, if anything very minor and let's check the back nothing on the back oh yeah oh I like this a lot folks oh yeah so we're going to sleeve that up right now because we do not want to keep that out of a sleeve um, that right there looks absolutely beautiful and to be honest with you this definitely has a chance at a PSA 10 which would be really really epic so just a phenomenal looking card there's definitely a shot I mean I don't see anything wrong with this Wow Hard to find raw cards like this these days. May have hit a home run on that one, so I'm very happy. And again, that was uh, that was Jacob. All right. Coming up next, Eddie from Los Angeles. Eddie, what do we got? Let's see what we got. Oh, let's try it again. All right. That should do it. Oh my, and how about that? Okay. Deja vu. 
Safe to say... Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay. This was the one that was destroyed. Alright, so this... I got this on a buy it now. Let's see if I could even... Uh, get the box cutter to get it. Open. Alright, we got it. Alright, so this one obviously is destroyed. Um, you can see there's crease right through the center. Look at that. Look at that crease. Can we see? Yep, there's a crease right there. Uh, crease down the left side. The back. Oh yeah, look at all that. Look at the creases here. You got creases here. You know how much I paid for this? I think it was between 12 and $15 shipped. So, you know, yeah, I get it's all creased. But for a binder card for $15-ish, you can't beat that, you know? You really can't. So, pretty cool. I'll put that one to the side. See what else we got? This one from Ryan in California. Ryan in California. Let's see. Let's see what... Oh, never mind. That's some sports cards. Miles Garrett for the Browns. Any NFL fans out there? Cool. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got? This one is from Mr. and Mrs. R.A. something. And this is from, uh... That's bizarre. It does not have a return address. So, a little bit nervous about this. There's no return address. So let's just see what it is. We'll see what we get. A lot of packaging. Oh, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Screwdown. Okay. Ooh. End of Anubis. Cool. Alright, let's see this. End of Anubis in a screwdown holder. Okay, how about that? And it is shifting all around the case, so I don't like that. It's first edition. It was described as mint condition, and obviously, without a screwdriver, I can't tell you if this thing is mint or not. I'll have to check this off camera. Um, it was like $10, so I figured, you know, let me just give it a shot for uh, for $10, right? And if they put it in a screw down, it must have been pretty good shape, I assume. So, uh, let's see what else we got. We got Justin White Plains. Justin in White Plains. All right. Oh, another sports card. This guy went off the other day. Kansas City Chiefs to Marcus Robinson. Cool, cool. Got this one from, again, someone that I don't know. I don't see a return address here. And let's get into it. Oops. Let's see. Oops. Try it again. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. This is a, a brick. By the time we get to open this. Holy moly. What a brick. Just trying to get it open somehow, but this is going to need a lot of force. Jeez. Talk about tape all over the place. Oh, goodness gracious. Wow. All right, we got it. Whatever it is. It's a Charizard and... A Charizard and another Charizard. And another Charizard. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I bought this super cheap. 
And he actually threw in, and that's a decent Charizard too. That's really cool. Huh. I'll be darned. Wow. All right. And we are back, and uh, wow. So I ordered this Charizard, again, a crazy price, just the base set. It was literally $25. It was described as, like, near mint, or mint condition. Obviously, on the picture, there was, like, some uh, whitening. But he threw in this Charizard. He threw in a base at Gyarados. He threw in this Charizard and this Charizard. So, wow. Well, now, that service. I mean, this thing... Oh, you could already see some silvering on the bottom, unfortunately. But let's just take a look at this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's... It's a crease right there. You can see it. Let's see if we can get that. Yep, right there, there's a crease. Whitening on the side, some whitening on the bottom, and more scratches all over the place, um, unfortunately. And the back actually looked decent. Now there is a lot of whitening. See on the bottom, whitening all over these corners, but I think it was like 20 bucks. 20 to 25, I can't remember the exact uh, price, so uh, what are you gonna do? But for $20, a base set Charizard, I mean can't really go really too wrong with that and this guy I think is actually pretty decent is it a secret no it's just a foil okay and then another base set Gyarados so for 20 bucks I'm not gonna complain about that uh, what else do we got looks like we got one more package here and this one from Joe in Connecticut and I have a decent idea of what this package is, and we're just gonna rip right into it. You won't believe when you see what it is. It is going to be quite funny if this is what I think it is. Oh my, there it is again. <laughs> oh my. Alright, well. Here it is, a Charizard again and again. This thing, from the description, has a shot. If everything looks good, I mean, it's it's a long shot, but let's see. I paid really good for this. Really good money for this. Alright, let's see. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, look at that surface, is clean. Not seeing it. Not seeing a single scratch on that either. And the back. Yeah. Yeah, this thing looks great. This thing looks phenomenal. If anything, there's this tad of white on the bottom right corner, as you can see. But overall, this thing looks fantastic. Holy moly. Okay. Wow. I'm just trying to see if there's... I mean, again, if anything, something on the... Just a tad of white on that bottom right of anything, but I think this is a passable gem mint. I certainly think so. So, really sweet. Wow. Okay, we need another. We definitely need another sleeve immediately put that down it's kind of bizarre because I was looking for this card in 10 for a long time I just didn't want to pay the prices of it and I found two raw copies that really really look fantastic and um, wow if these are tens man we are talking like this is crazy crazy so, how about that? Triple Charizards. My goodness. Just look at these backs again. They do look really, both of them look really good. So, if we could somehow get two gems on these. This would be amazing. So, all right. What a great mail day. I am more than happy. All right, until next time. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, signing out.